So the topic is physical study of the steam generating unit boilers or boilers. This is a lecture for the lecture only uh, for MA lab, the mechanical engineering laboratory two. Steam generators, na for the steam generation, pag produce ng steam, steam generators, also called boilers, perform one of the major processes in thermal energy cycle, vaporizing, vaporizing water to steam. Steam may generate mechanical power or steam heat to a manufacturing process. Ito, <laughs> steam. The complex equipment in a steam generator Involved from the simple cold loan of Hero's engine of ancient history. So, figure one outlines the component and essential function of a steam generator generators. The latter center on the heat generation and heat transfer. So, this is from page figure one the graphic representation of a steam generator. All units have furnace and fuel burning equipment. Some or all of the components for heat transfer are used in units of various design. The time feed water to steam generator, then alabas sa steam. So feed water dyan, meron. So heat generation is yung input niya, is yung furnace fuel burning equipment. Mga accessories, meron fuel preparation, drop system, yung stocks, as removal. Instrument, etc. Then, stop, ano yan, sa furnace type. Then, boiler drums. Boiler drums, sa loob ng stimulator yan. Boiler tubes, superheater, reheater. Then, water walls, slug screen, floor tubes, economizer air units. So, ang tawag dyan is yung steam generator. Okay. Ito yung heat generator. Ito yung may apoy. So, napapod na siya ng heat. Heat transfer, ito yung mga may, may tubes. Okay? So, thermodynamic and economic principles largely govern steam generator design. Totally complete combustion and heat transfer cannot be justified in practice. Theoretically, combustion gases may be cooled to temperature of incoming feed water steam saturation temperature or incoming air depending on the heat transfer component use okay so economics control economics controls the extent to which the design may approach theoretical limit so for best cycle efficiency we should use the highest source temperature practically attainable so this control controls partly the steam pressure and temperature selected the transfer and a steam generator decreases the ability availability of the energy released in the furnace energy released at combustion temperature up to 2800 fahrenheit transfer to water at less than 700 fahrenheit and a steam at less than 1100 fahrenheit heat exchange the mechanical limits of steel prevent using working temperature much above 1,100 Fahrenheit. Hence, we must accept the large loss in availability in present-day steam generator. Steam generators transmit heat by radiation, conduction, and force convection. Some components see the furnace flame to he receive heat mostly by radiation but also by conduction and force convection. Other components depend on only conduction and convection. Mga parts doon sa loob. Efficiencies of steam generators vary widely with basic design and operating condition. And the large units, efficiency higher than 90% have been reported. The ASME boiler construction code specifies this, price the limits needed for safe construction. The code originated in 1914 set up standards that must be met and form the basis for legal requirements. The code has several sections, maritime power boilers, 
alam ko na dadownload to eh. Material specifications, boilers of locomotives, low pressure heating boilers, unpacked pressure vessel, building qualifications, suggested rules for care of power boiler. So, ito yung laman ng ASME Boiler Construction Code. Uh, periodic revision, keep the code in step with modern needs. Addenda, sheets, and interpretations are published as new situation arise. Most states accept the code as a law or as a basis for state boiler law. The ASME test code for stationary steam generation unit outlines the precise method to be used in making performance tests and determining the heat transfer surfaces. And ito yung rules sa testing. Yeah. Next, circulation principle. So the water, ito yung uh, the water within and the feed water entering a steam generator circulates through a given, the given tube in most units. Lahat doon, mapasok siya. This water vaporizes to steam bubbles to leave as wet, dry, or superheated steam for use in an engine or heating process. Punta sa turbine, di ba? Kalabas niya. Natural circulation. So, oh na, ito yung, uh, ito yun. Ito yung furnace mo dyan. So, ito yung tube mo. Iniinit siya. Pag nangyayin mo ito dito, simple mag-circulate siya. Okay? Wait. Natural circulation. Water naturally in a boiler when its density in one part of the circuit is less than in another part at the same level. Yung left side. Ito, boiling siya. Mainit. Okay? The boiler drums, tubes, and water walls make up the multi-package circuit. So, figure 2 shows the natural circulation in simple drum and water tube circuit. So, wala siyang blower na nagpapaikot niya. So, in figure 2A, water near the drum interior surface becomes heated and forms steam bubbles, lowering its density. The water and the drum center being heavier displaces the lighter water bubble mix and in turn becomes heated. So, they set up a circulation that releases steam in the upper drum region. So, dito mag yung steam. So, in figure 2B, Yan, ito yung kanina. The water from the drum flows down the down camera tube to the bottom of the heated riser. Heat forms steam bubbles in the water passing through the riser, lowering the density of the mixture. The heavier down camera water, this, this is the riser mixture to establish continuous circulation as long as heat enters the riser. Ito yung uh, gas. The percent of steam by weight at the riser top is called the top blindness. Ito. The reciprocal of this term is the circulation ratio. Natural circulation largely depends on the height of the riser and down camer and the mean density of the fluids in them. This depends on the steam pressure, dryness in the tube, friction losses in tube, entrance, exit, bends, and bulbs, and fluid acceleration. Fluid velocities in the tubes depends on the balance between losses and acceleration on the one hand and the available pressure difference in riser and down camera on the other hand. So, yung, yung ang magiging speed niya. So, figure 3 shows the natural circulation in principle of principle in a typical straight tube and bent, bent tube boiler. So, ito yung A. Ito yung bent tube, uh, straight tube. Kasi dito, mas punta doon. Okay. Ito naman yung vent tube. Common, common to sa mga water tube boiler. Okay. So, next is the for circulation. Air heater, economizer, superheaters, and reheaters normally use for circulation. 
Kasi may mga tubes yan, sinsin. In boilers with steam drum, a pump taking suction at the bottom of the down camer and discharge into the riser produce spore circulation. So, meron ditong pump. The assured velocity aids heat transfer and avoids burning out the tubes from overheating. Okay. So, designing boiler circulation depends on experience and empirical concept combines with the theory. Circulation ratios vary from 6 to 25 pounds water per pounds of steam. Tube velocities vary from 1 to 7 feet per second depending on tube inclination. Vertical tubes use your lower values, the young circulation velocity. Next. An elementary boiler is shown in figure 4. So this is figure 4 sa left. Figure 4. Oh yeah, sa left. Ito yung elementary boiler. Feed water, tapos simpli magbigay sa pasok dito, ikot siya ng ikot ng boiler. Isang bo meron dalawang boiler, tatlong uh, steam drum, tatlong steam drum, pwede yun. So, tapos dito yung heat, nagko-contact. So, iinis hanggang papunta doon sa steam. So, an elementary boiler is shown in figure 4 in which we shall assume that all the heat transfer from the gases to the water takes place in the riser. Okay? Uh, left side. Water at essentially saturated conditions will flow in the down camera from the drum. Since the water flows to the riser on its return to the drum, the heat, heat transfer will cause part of the water to evaporate into steam with the result that the fluid in the riser will be composed of a mixture of water and steam. The density of the mixture in the riser will then be less than the density of the water in the down camera. Okay? And title it is water tube boiler circulation. The difference in density in the U-tube provides the pressure to overcome the friction loss occurring in the system. Okay? The pressure drop down here equal to the friction loss. Since the water flows to the riser on its return to the drum, heat transfer will cause part of the water to evaporate into the steam with the result that the fluid in the riser will be composed of a mixture of water and steam. So, okay, na dubli. Right, na dubli tayo. So, yun. Hanggang dyan lang. Okay. So, next slide. Does the system... When the system when is in equilibrium, so delta P is equal to delta P the D plus delta P R is equal to C over 144 times rho D minus rho M, where delta P is the pressure differential due to the difference in density, PSI. English here is tied it up. SI. Delta P D is the pressure loss in the down camer. Delta P R is the pressure loss in the lysel. So, total mo yon, delta P. C is the system height. Ito, yan. Elevation none. So the density of water in the down camera, rho D, usefully saturated, pounds per cubic feet. Rho sub M is mean density of water, steam saturated in the riser. So pagkuhan yan, later na. So a mixture of steam and water leaves the riser and enters the drum. So, uh, and... The term dryness fraction refers to the amount of steam in this mixture of steam and water and may be expressed as a fraction by volume or by weight. When dryness fraction is expressed as weight ratio, it represents the quality of the mixture, yung X. Top dryness fraction applies to the mixture leaving the tube. Mean density, rho M, of the mixture in the steaming section to of the tubes may be found by integration of the mixture density with respect to the elevation above the initial point of steaming. For a constant heat transfer throughout the length of this tube, this relationship is rho sub m is equal to ln of rho w over w t divided by rho w divided by the rho t minus 1 times rho of w. Where rho m is the main density. Rho w is density of saturated water. And rho sub t is the density at top blindness fraction. Top blindness fraction is an extremely important 
the sine factor because of the inside surface of the tube. Must be wet at all times to ensure satisfactory heat transfer. If a tube surface should become dry, the coefficient of heat transfer will decrease and the tube wall will overheat, blister, and rupture. Approximate maximum permissible tap dryness fraction by volume range from 80% at a boiler operating pressure of 250 PSI to 50% at 2500 PSI in almost a straight line relationship. So an equation for this relationship will be TDFB is equal to 0 0.80 minus 0 0.000, 000 133 times P minus 250 English units. Na. Also, TDFW is equal to TDFB times BF over TBG minus TDFB times BFG. Okay, wait lang. And circulation ratio is equal to 1 over TDFW. Rho AT is equal to 1 over TDFV over B sub G divided by TDFW. Ini balik di itu. Ini dah balik itu. So, ya. Yeah. Nag-subscript lang inayas ko. Well, TDFB is the top blindness fraction by volume. Cubic feet steam per cubic feet mixture. TDFW, top blindness fraction by weight. So, yan ang symbols niya. P, steam generator operating pressure, PSIA. And B sub A, P sub FG, and B sub G are given in, are as given in steam tables. The circulation ratio represents the water flow through the down camera for each pound of steam generated and the tube. So, yun. A water flow in the down camera. Example number one. How many pounds of water must enter the down camera if of a boiler operating at 1,000 PSI to produce 1 pound of steam leaving the rice? So, yun ang tanong. Ilan yung water doon? Okay. So, sa kabilang side sa riser, eh, mix yun. So, given P is 1,000 PSI, required circulation ratio. So, given lang pressure, ah. Uh, solution, TDFV is equal to 0.8 minus 0.000, 130 times P minus 250. Substitute mo yung P na 1,000, magiging 0.7. From steam tables, B sub F is 0 0.0216 cubic feet per pound. B sub FG is 0 0.4240 cubic feet per pound and B sub G is 1,000.4456 cubic feet per pound. And doon sa 1,000 PSI na pressure. Then, TDFW is equal to TDFB times BF over B sub G minus TDFB times BFG. Okay, mali ito. Okay. Uh, is equal to 0 0.7 times 0 0.0216 over 0.4456 minus 0.7 as 0.4240 is 0 0.1018. So, circulation ratio is 1 over TDFW is 1 over 0 0.1018 is 9.83 pounds water per pound of steam. So, this is the answer. So, it's like example of that. So, yun, B sub FG. Next, pressure loss in the down camera consists of losses at entrance and exit. 1 up and 1 elbow equivalent. Sabihin niyan. Respectively. Ito yung mano, figure 5. No, ah, maya, binanggit naman. Loss due to changes in tube area, which is 1 pole to 1 up equivalent elbow. Loss due to bends, which is equal to 3 pole equivalent elbow if 90 degrees bend. And the uh, loss due to the straight tube. Equivalent length may be determined from figure 5 and the pressure drop in pounds per square inch may be determined from delta P is equal to 0 0.01214 FLW squared over rho D is 0.5. Okay. In English units, and delta P is pressure loss PSI. D is 5 ID in inches. Yeah. Ang units na W is equal to flow in pounds per minute. Rho is the density in pounds per cubic foot. Length L is in feet, friction factor, walang unit. So, itong L, i-add mo yung mga equivalent length ng bawa, uh, entrance. So, one half nung makukuha mo dito, bawa, 10 inches. Nakuha mo is 25, 27.5. So, kalahati niyan, yun ang sa entrance. Okay? 
bawa 12 inches yung ano mo ah uh, uh, 10 inches yung pipe mo so ang inside check mo kung inside niya at 10 eh diyan ka sa actual inside diameter yeah hindi yung nominal pipe size ah yung actual inside eh ano ano mo diyan so tayo So, andito yung mga equivalent fittings. For the ring is 1 half. Long radius is 3.8 nung value nito. Yan. Diba? So, andyan naman yung iba. So, deflection factor to be used in this equation should be determined from Reynolds number. Yan, yung F and figure 6. However, a flexion factor of 0 0.2 will give sufficiently accurate result for many purposes. So, pag walang ano, ibang value na tawag doon, magagamit mo itong figure 6, so assume 0 0.02. Okay? Pero pag may velocity, sa ito na, uh, makukuha mo yung Reynolds number. Saan yung Reynolds number? Ito. Ito yung flex, figure 6 is the flexion factor and relative roughness. So, given yung halimbawa, kung uh, commercial steel, so may diameter ka, so makukuha mo yung E. Sa E, magkukuha mo yung dito naman. May kursul mo yung Reynolds number. Yun, hanapin mo yung value. Magkukuha mo yung friction factor. Di ba? So, pag wala kang velocity, wala etc. Hindi mo makasolve. Assume 0.02. Ayan lang dyan pumapasok. Next, resistance in the riser will include all those listed for the down camera. Parehas. In addition, there will be a loss through the steam separator in the dam. So, i-add mo yun. For problem solution, this loss can be taken as 1 PSI, which is realistic value for large steam generator. Tinuto ko dito is yung loss through the steam separator in the dime, which is 1 PSI. It is very common to have two or more riser circuit of modern boiler feed by one set of down camera. This represents a problem in flow through parallel circuits. Alam nyo na yung mga sample mechanics. So, example number two. <clears throat> Alam ba kayo na? So, example number two, uh, in a 1,000 PSI boiler, one set of 50 risers is to be, to be served by two down cameras. So, sa kami, ang riser mo is 50, down camera mo is dalawa. Each riser will be 60 feet long, have a difference in elevation of 40 feet. So, yan ang simo. Have two 90 degrees, bend B3 inches, and 2.56 ID. So, ayan ang, ano, isa lang yan, 3 inches OD, pero ang ID niya is 2.56. And have a heat transfer rate of 50,000 BTU per hour square foot of projected area. Water entering the down camera is saturated. Determine the size of down camera if they are to have 50 feet of length and 3 bends. Okay. So, 1,000 given, 1,000 PSI, 50 risers of 60 feet. So, let you know, 40 feet elevation difference, 2, 90 degrees bands, 3 inch OD and 2.56 ID, heat transfer rate of 50,000 BTU per hour square foot of projected area, 2 down cameras per foot length and 3 bands. Required size of 2 down cameras. Isa lang naman size nun. Okay? Solution. From example number 1,000 PSI, boilers, yung kanina example 1, the circulation ratio is 9.83 pounds of water per pounds of steam at TDFW is 0 0.01, 0 0.018. 8. So the race, this steam evaporated in the riser. So the rate of heat transfer times the projected area divided by its FGN. Sorry. 8, ah, uh, it's FGN. Okay. Now, the projected area is the tube width times the difference in elevation times the number of tube. Yung width ng tube. Ako oh, siya So, yung 
ito kasi yung i-transfer na ahin. So, ito be transfer sa labas to, yung gas. Okay? Multi magkatama dan sa nakaharang sa kanyang tube, which is the tube width, tapos yung elevation times yung ilang yung tubo. Kasi yan yung magiging tatasin mo sa steam. Yung spacing ng tube, di kasama kasi wala naman steam doon. So, projected area is 3 over 12 feet times 40 feet times 50 tubes is equal to 500 square feet. So, H of FG at 1,000 PSI A is 649.4 BTU per pound. Now, the steam evaporated in the riser is 50,000 50, times 500 over 649.4. So, the steam now is 38,500 pounds per hour. So, nakuha mo na yung steam. Now, the total circulation is the steam flow times circulation ratio, which is 38,500 pounds per hour times 9.83 is equal to 78,000 pounds per hour. Now, go to flow per tube. Kasi kakailangan mo yung mga size nung down camera. Itong ano, flow to sa tube, which is total circulation divided by number of riser divided by 60. So, yung 60 is a conversion factor. So, magiging 378,000 over 50 over 60 is 128 pounds per minute. Hindi yung pumapasok doon sa riser. So, flow per down camera naman is total circulation divided by number of down camera times 60 is 378,000 divided by 2 over 60. It's 350 pounds per minute. Ito naman pumapasok doon sa dalawang down camera pipe. Tig, ano siya, tig, 350 pounds per minute. Okay? So, nakuha na mga flow rate. Now, for the equivalent lengths. Equivalent lengths of riser is, uh, tayong equivalent length of elbow sa riser figure 5. Itong kanina, figure 5. Ito. So, Ang size mo is 2.56 ID is 7 feet. Elbow yun na elbow. 2.56 is, and dito siya, 3. So, mga 7 feet. 7 feet. So, mamaya, di ko nabalikan to. Ayan na, yung mga equivalent elbow. Okay? Itong, itong 7 feet is sa elbow to. Yan. Equivalent length of losses at entrance is 1 nap of sa elbow. So, 1 nap of 7 is 3.5 feet. Equivalent length of losses at exit is 1 times 7. So, equal sa, di ba? Is 7 feet. Equivalent length of losses due to 90 degrees bent is 3 ports of equivalent elbow. Is 3 ports times 7. E dalawa yun. So, 10 times 2. So, 10.5 feet. On the length of the riser is yung 60 feet. Now, the equivalent length of riser, add mo yun, 3.5 plus 7 plus 10.5 plus 6 is equal to 81 feet. Next. Yeah, okay. Save mo yun. So, density of water is equal to 1 over B sub F at 1,000 pesos is equal to 1 over 0 0.0216 is 46.3 pounds per cubic feet. So, and B sub D is equal to B sub D at 1,000 pesos is 0.4456 cubic feet per month. Then, rule sub T is equal to Riser tayo, riser. Ito kasi, ano, water sa kabilang side to down camera. Ito yung riser. So, rho sub t is equal to tdfb over b sub u times tdfw. 0.7 over 0.4456 over 0.101 is 15.43 pound per cubic feet. Then, the main density now is rho sub m is equal to ln of rho w of rho sub t is equal divided by rho sub w of rho sub t minus 1 times rho sub w times is equal to ln of 46.3 over 15.43 divided by 46.3 over 15.43 minus 1 times 46.3 is 25.4 pounds per cubic feet. Ito yung mean average density doon sa riser kasi diba, liquid to nag-rise siya nagiging vapor. So, yan. So, the riser pressure drop then add the loss to the separator, which is 1 PSI, to obtain the loss in the riser circuit. Sa riser yun. 
So delta P is equal to 0 0.0121 FLW squared over root D exponent 5. Okay, remember the diameter yan ng rise cell. So the length is 81 feet. So ito. So W is 126 pounds per minute. F is 0 0.02. Rho is equal to 25.4 pounds per cubic feet. So, ginamit natin is 0 0.02. Di ba? Uh, di na. Wala po kasi tayong velocity. Doon sa ano, di na ka nahanap. 0 0.02. Walang roughness factor. Okay? So, Rho is equal to 25.4 pounds per cubic feet. D is equal to ID 2.56. So, walang binagit na pipe. Di ba? Delta PR is equal to 0 0.0121 times 0 0.02 times 81 times 126 squared divided by 25.4 divided by 0.56.5 plus 1. So this is now is 1.11 PSI. Now the allowable pressure drop in the down commerce can be from delta P is equal to delta PD plus delta PR is equal to C over 1.44 times rho sub D minus rho sub M. So, delta P D is equal to C over 144 times rho D minus rho M minus delta P R. So, rho sub D is equal to rho sub W times 46.3 is equal to 46.3. Okay. Yeah, kasi water doon sa kabila, di ba? Sa down camera, purely water yun. Ano yung saan galing yung 40? Ayan, elevation 40. Nagbebend kasi yung tube kasi iba yun. Elevation sa length ng tube. So, delta P is equal to 40 over 144. Conversion factor yung 144. Times 46.3 minus 25.4 minus 1.11 is 4.7. Now, the size of down camera tubes to give the special loss can be determined by trial and error. So, yan kailangan mong 4.7 PSI sa down. Now, try. Kasi, trial kasi magkukuha ka pa ng mga ano, ng pressure the equivalent length diba? based on diameter so try so by trial error ito yan try 2 5 inch OD tubes with 0.34 inch wall thickness for an ID of 4.32 so the equivalent length of down cameras nga, equivalent length of elbow from figure 5 is 4.32 inch or 12 feet equivalent length of losses at entrance is 1 up of 12 6 feet yeah Equivalent length of ex losses at exit, exit ka is 1, uh, one uh, 12 is 12 is 12 feet. Equivalent length of losses due to 90 degrees elbow is tatlo yun, 3 times 3, 4 times 12 is 27. So the length of riser pipe is 50. So the equivalent length of down camel is 6 plus 12 plus 27 plus 50 is 95 feet. So delta P is equal to 0 0.01 to 1 4 times 0 0.02 times 95 times 3150 is called over 46.3, over 4.32 is 0.5 is 3.3 PSI, which is less than 4.7 PSI. Okay. Hindi naman siya mag-equal kasi exacto yung pipe mo. So, pag nag-try ka ng 4 inches, tataas siya. Okay. So, hindi pwede yung 4 inches. So, 5 inches ang so, nag-next. Okay. Tapos, Pag nag-solve pa ng 6 inches, bababa pa. So, pwede kasi pwede yung 6 inches. Kasi nag-design ka dapat yung mas maliit. Diba? So, this is as near to balance as can be obtained with commercial sizes of tubing. So, using this down commerce would mean that TDF would be less than the maximum. So, yan. So, na-select mo is 5 inches. Okay? So, Sa standard list ng piping, kasama 5 inches. Pero sa commercial, kung sa Pilipinas, yung nga nga lang kong sinasabi, mahirap mag-ano ng 5 inches. Atin kasi 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? Pero sa calculation natin dito sa jury, gawa tayo ng 5 kasi yung available ang ano natin, mga books. Yan. Okay, next is the water tube steam generator. Yung kanina, topic lang sa circle. So, put up, dito naman tayo sa water tube steam generator. So, ibig sabihin water tube, water tube, yung water nasa tube. Then, nasa labas yung apoy. 
yung parchob sa loob yung apoy, ang tubo, sa labas yung tubig. Okay. These units are universally used in larger capacities. Yung parchob, lower. Water flows inside tubes and, is, and drums and receives heat by radiation and conduction from the furnace and combustion gases flowing over the tube surfaces. So positive flow and circulation assures good heat transfer and enables building large capacity. Okay. About the furnace, yung meron discussion sa bang power plant book sa ano meron mga topic dun about the furnace. Puro radiation. So dito tayo is sa stimulator tayo yung no na after the furnace na. Okay? Tayo concentrate. So, tubes and drums smaller than in per tube units makes high pressure feasible. Tubes external to the drum can be placed for best heat absorption. Isan mo ilagay. The scale and deposit can be removed more easily from inside tubes than from the outside. So, water tubes may be classified in several ways. Meron straight or bent tube to Longitudinal or cross drum, three sectional or box header, four one or more drums, so maraming drums, five cross or parallel baffles, and six horizontal, vertical, or inclined tube. So, for example, is inclined tube. Longitudinal drum boiler, tapos ang tube niya inclined. Okay. Na, na, unay natin yung straight tube Straight tube shows a longitudinal drum boiler With a single, simple hand fire grate and superheater tubes Ito yung superheater ha Ito yung boiling After boiling, papasok siya dito Doon siya is, doon siya is superheat Ayan. Ito naman is yung chimney So sa power plant ka na yan Headers connect to the drum bottom At its end Ito In simple Simple form, this header consists of narrow steel boxes. Yeah, narrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mga headers. Uh, headers nga. Inclined tubes in parallel connect the two headers. The water level stands normally at about drum center. Combustion gas flows over the tubes in several passes formed by baffles in this charge to this tank. So, yeah. Ito yung mga drum, furnace ito. Pasok doon, balik dito, then balik doon, chug. Yan yung gas. Okay? Huwag tayo sa gas. Tandun, ibang topic naman yung gas. Okay? Next figure 8 shows a cross drum boiler with sectional headers. Okay? Right angle sa Ito yung headers dito. Yung headers naman naka, naka ba sa dyan? Right angle. The drum axis stands at right angle to the tube axis. Ito. Bata yung linyan mo, tube mo, ito naman na kanyan. Each of sectional headers made of individual steel seamless box headers carries one or two vertical rows of the tube. Straight tube din siya, di ba? Ano lang, yung maghalo-halo lang yung uh, classification. The sinus shape to of some headers is staggers tube position in the vertical Direction. Handholes in the headers opposite its tube gives access for tube cleaning. Figure 9 shows one of the earlier modifications of simple cross drum boiler for pulverized coal firing. Such boil, boiler runs at pressures up to 1,400 psi. Pulverized coal firing, check the book na lang kasi maraming types of firing done. Okay. Eh? So, boiler lang tayo. So, ito yung tsura niya. Now, these units have several drums. Connected by bent tube. Eliminating headers reduces the maintenance cost and handling of large number of handle cups and gasket. Tubes are clean from the inside the drums and only one or more two manuals need to be removed to get inside. Bend tubes can be arranged in variety of ways to ensure good circulation. Figure 10. Dryer steams can be obtained by taking it from the rear drum. This type 
also has water cold walls. Water cold walls, doon kaya mag-check sa design ng furnace. So, this is ano pala, bench tube units na wala yung title sa taas. Okay? Yan, mga bench tube. Kung nasa power plant kayo. So, also, figure 11 shows a low head room boiler. Bench tube din sa water circulates from the uppermost down drum down to lower drum up to intermediate water drum and across the upper drum. Bapples Direct gas flow to the three passes. <laughs> gas mo. Bapol sa dyan. Yeah. Okay. Next, steam generator accessories. Ito yung mga konti lang to. Yung mga nakuha lang natin. So, this unit need equipment for adequate control and operation such as water label gauges. This indicates the water level in the drum. So, low pressure boiler use simple tubular gases, glasses. Higher pressure means more sturdy construction, which uses flat glass plate and metal housing. For remote observation, optical system with periscopic mirror, electric transmission, and television metals may be used. Next is the safety valve. These valves are loaded by springs and other methods to automatically relieve overpressure in the drum. Superheaters and reheater. Superheater relief valve are set to open before drum relieves to keep steam flowing through the superheater and so prevent tube burnout. Soot blowers. Wala tayong figures, ha? Pipe and nozzle system blow jets of air or steam over the fire side of heat transfer surfaces to remove soot and ash deposit. The tactable system can be completely withdrawn from the boiler passes and furnace proof to need less maintenance. Next, speed water regulators. This control hold drum level between safe limit during constant and varying load. What is the level of Low control. They must compensate for the change in total boiler water with load. A higher percentage of steam bubbles at high steaming rate reduces the amount of water needed in the boiler and tends to raise the drum level. Okay. Next is the blowdown bulb. Okay. So bulbs in the lines, ito, Connected to the lower part of the boiler water circuit, drains of water containing solids under full boiler pressure. Lines placed at low water level is keep up any boom controlled by surface blowdown valve. Blowdown water drains to a blowdown tank for cooling. Then release. Water drains to waste later at atmospheric pressure. Masa boiler ka, di ba? Ini tune. Blow down, remove salt that accumulate in the boiler water and are carried in by the steady flow of the feed water. Then, the salts are left behind as the water evaporates. Television. So, hindi yan na. Hindi yan yung figure na yan. Closed circuit television system allow remote viewing of water level gauges, smoke discharges from stock and flame conditions in the furnace. So... Okay, so advanced design. The modern need for high efficiency and the ability to burn low-grade fuels, reducing the amount of high-cost material fuels, reducing the amount of high-cost material, has led to Okay, wait now. So, to main correction, the modern need for high efficiency and ability to burn low-grade fuels, reducing the amount of high-cost material, has led to designing steam generators here in abroad that differ from past conventional practice. So, by the way, yung reference ito is lumat na rin. So, mayroon ng mga bago pa nito. Okay? Features that makes these units different include a post-circulation, 
small tubes, lack of drums, pressurized combustion, multiple tube circuits, extreme compactness, and low weight. So figure 12 shows the pictures of the principal boiler types. Okay. So andito yung Lamont, Lofer, Benson, Smith-Harman, Bellox, and Lamsin. So andyan yung mga symbols niya. FP, Fed Pump, WC, Water Circulating Pump, D-Drum, E-Economizer, SC, Steam Circulating Pump, CS, Convention Superheater, RH, Sladian Superheater, T, Tube Incorporating Section, O, Steam to Service, WS, Steam Separating Section, TS, Equal Transition Section, AC is air compressor. GT is gas turbine. Okay. A solid line steam. So, first, yung Lamont boiler. This pours circulation boiler kasi meron tayong water circulation. Meron feed water pump. So, ito yung pour circulation niya. Ito, ito. Ayan. Uses small diameter tubes in the evaporating section. This gives flexibility in placing the heat transfer surface for best advantage. The drum may be placed well away from the furnace to ease the design problem. The small tube give a unit with high specific output which can be used for high or low pressure. This type of unit finds increasing acceptance in the United States as controlled circulation boiler. So, Leffler boiler. Feed water passes through an economizer on its way to a drum external to the furnace. So, yan sa figure. Superheated steam mixing with the drum water evaporates it to saturated steam. So, bypass. So, punta doon. Ito yung economizer. Then, punta sa Steam drum. The saturated steam flows through radiant and rad uh, radiant and convection superheaters. So, mga type of superheaters, autobiscope natin yun ha. About two-thirds of the su superheated steam returns to the drum and one-third leaves as the steam generator output. A uh, steam circulating pump pulses the saturated steam through the superheater. Pressures about 2,000 PSI gauge makes the boiler economical and only small ball tubes need be used in the superheated radiant section. These units can handle drum salt concentration as high as 8,000 parts per million without trouble. Okay. Next, Benson boiler. This drumless. So, wala. One through boiler. Tandaan nyo, pag one through boiler na drumless, that is Benson. Nasa board exam to. Takes boiler feed water in at one end and discharge it as superheated at the other end. Okay. Yan. Ito. And passer drone, so other end it turn lambas na superheated. Okay. In figure 12, dito, paid water flows to the radiant parallel tube section T to evaporate partly. The steam bubble water mixture then flows to the lower temperature transition section TS to evaporate completely. The steam flows through the size of temperature superheater before leaving the unit. This lightweight boiler can be started in about 15 minutes and is designed for pressure up to 400 to 3,500 PSI gauge. Next, Smith Hartman boiler. This is to. This is my boy, man. Yan. It's a multiple circuit. Yan, di ba? Ito yung... Uh, this multiple circuit boiler mitigates speed water troubles. Uh, a feed pump supplies water to a drum that discharges 
saturated steam to a superheater and then to the load a closely a closed circo secondary circuit ito and then to the load and as heated by the furnace resembles a sectional header brewer boiler this section supplies the heated vapor in a coil dito to evaporate the main feed water yan the boiler performs well in producing dry steam which eliminate carry over the boilers are built for pressures ranging from 500 to 1800 psi gauge Belox boiler the pressurized ito naman Belox tsura niya ayan combust ito yung wall feed butter dyan so ito meron siyang gas turbine ayan the pressurized combustion chamber furnace of this boiler uses low excess air and has high heat transfer rates the furnace runs at th about 35 psi gauge pressure. The combustion gases, after heating the water and steam, pass through a gas turbine to atmosphere. The gas turbine drives the axial compressor that raises incoming combustion air from atmospheric to furnace pressure. This compact unit develops high efficiency in its build for pressure ranging from 200 to 200 psi and 950 Fahrenheit steam. Next, Ramsin boiler. This Russian one screw boiler has inclined coils T. So, arranged in the spiral form. 40 coils are parallel around the furnace. Steam generated in the header flows into the header and then to the superheater. The boiler work at virus pressure and are built of standardized parts. Next one is young fire tube boiler. Hindi ito, hindi ito kasama kanya na sa grupo. Ano kasi yon is water tube. Punta naman tayo sa fire tube boiler. Anong page na kaya ito? Ayan. Of many ways of classifying boiler, the distinction based on the fluid inside the tube is one of the most important. So, fire tube boilers are those having the hot gases of combustion inside the boiler. Ito sa figure, this is a horizontal tubular, horizontal return. Diba doon? Yan, tapos bumalik dyan. So, yan ang horizontal return niya. Uh, itong kinasabing fire tube, ito yung fire. Fire and then gas, papasok dito. Okay? Hot gases of combustion, papasok dito, punta doon. Then, yung ah, yung eh, ito lang dito. Ito dito, one. Ah, to horizontal return, babalik. Yan, tapos eh, chimney. So, pile tube, you, oh, the other opposite are water tube boilers yung kanina. Pile tube boilers are usually limited to steam pressure about 250 psi gauge, working because, working pressure because of the thickness of the large diameter shell for higher pressure. A design pressure of 150 psi gauge is very common for these units and capacities range up to 18,000 pounds per hour of steam. Ito yung sa package boil, boiler, ito repair tube din yun. So, ito yung pressure lang niya. The principal used today in the stationary field is for very small industrial plant or for heating system. Building, building heating. Railroads still use the fire tube units for their steam engine. Nung panahon pa. So, figure 13 shows one of the more popular types of fire tube boiler. The HRT, or the Horizontal Return Tubular Boiler. Coal, ito, is fired into the boiler through the fire door in the plant and is born in the grate. Products of combustion travel upward over thick bridge, ito. Well, that supports the rear of the grate and pass to the rear of the unit, the rear. The direction of the gas is then reversed so that it passes through the tubes of the cell and leaves at the plant. Ito yung plant of the boiler. Yung may chimney. Stuck. The fire tubes are rolled into the tube seat at its end of the dam and are submerged in the water contained in the... Well, rolled dito. Pinasak. Sinaksak dyan. Heat transfer to the tubes evaporates the feed water. Okay, manipis lang ito. Tawag dyan, boiler tube. Okay, ibang tube sa pipe pa. Okay. 
A boiler similar in principle to the SRT is shown in figure 14. So, ito yung internal furnace, power tube, boiler. So, ibig sabihin, ba ito kanina? Yan. Sa labas siya ng shell. Yung furnace mo. Dito naman, nasa loob na siya ng shell. So, while SRT has so-called external furnace, yan, an internal furnace unit has the power box inside the shell. No brick seating is required for this boiler as is necessary with the SRT type. The internal furnace boiler was used for many years in marine service and was known as the Scots Marine Boiler. Meron pa rin dito. It differed from the boiler shown in figure 14, only that in the refractory at the back was replaced with a water jacket. Notice that the furnace tube for the unit of figure 14 is corrugated. It is known as the Morrison furnace. Both types are used, but the corrugated walls are said to be to make better provision for relative expansion and to shed soot deposit as the wall expands and contact. So with increased steam and pressure and capacities, this Scots marine boiler has not been used for marine application for many years. Recently, however, this style of boiler has been converted to the use of light and heavy oil and gas fuel. With the addition of automatic control, is known as a package fire tube boiler. Ito na yung mga commercial model natin ngayon. Figure 15. It has found wide application for both heating and process steam. Rebated construction has been replaced by welding. So, yun. Ito yung bagong mga package type boiler. Uh, ano ba yung mga brand natin ng boiler? Yon. May boiler yun. Next, furnace design. Okay. Mga pala, mayroon pa lang furnace design dito. Pero yung mga insulation hindi. Okay. Furnace design depends on the steam generator operating condition. Heat transfer principle. Okay. Hotel. Combustion process, available materials, and empirical or experience factor. Eh, alam niyo ng experience factor. Well, minsan, din na ako siya ganyan. Kailangan meron ka ng mga basis. Okay? Furnace volume and the proportion selected are fixed by A, type of fuel, 2, steam capacity and conditions, the maximum load, load range, pressure, and temperature. 3% of heat recovery that proves economical. 4 types of firing. 5, excess air. 6, flame length. Yung buga, di ba? 7, kung may na yun, may na nga po mo. 7, as fusion temperature. 8, stoker or great area. And 9, furnace wall and arc construction. Ang repeles pa rin to is power planturi ni Philip J. Pater. So, the following relation picks the primary factors of the furnace. So, WF times HSB times NG is equal to the summation of WS delta S, where WF is the fuel pairing rate, pounds per hour, HSB is the fuel heating value, BTO per pound, and sub G is the overall heat steam generator gross efficiency fraction. Summation of WS delta S is total heat transfer to cycle fluid in steam generator, the boiler, rubber heater, economizer, reheater, and BTO per hour. This equation must be used and an must use an estimated efficiency that depends on the amount of heat recovery in the unit. Diba? Yung feed mo na fuel, ilan na lang ang capacity niya, kakayahan niya doon pag deliver doon sa furnace. Okay? So, furnace volume, partly controls the furnace heat release rate. HRB is equal to WB times the heating value divided by the volume. So, where HRB is the furnace heat release rate, stable one, BTU per cubic feet per hour, depending on the type. The heat B is the furnace volume in cubic feet. So, the heat release rate chosen by the designer depends depend on the fuels and previous experiences with, the, with those fuels 
and existing furnaces of similar type. Table 1 nga. The heating, the heat release rate used also depends on whether the furnace has air or water cooled walls. So ito yung furnace heat release. Fuel, coal, coal, coal. Oil or gas. Type of firing, stationary gate, stoker, pulverized, burner. So heat release rate, andyan yung range. 40,000 to 50,000 sa stationary grade coal. And etc. So the heat release rate, the heat release in terms of heat transfer surface also controls furnace proportion. So yung dimension, HRA is equal to WF times HSB over area of for AF. Where HRA is equal to its heat release rate, BTO per hour square feet. AF is equal to area of projected furnace envelope square feet. Typical values vary around 80,000 to 90,000 BTU per square foot for a furnace with radiant frames. This ratio is more significant than the volumetric heat release. Okay. So, yung table 1 na to, dito sa SRB. Okay. Nanagay ko lang para sa ng space. So, for stoker and grades, WF is equal to A times CR. A is the projected grade or stoker area. CR is equal to combustion rate, pounds per square foot per hour. So the value of combustion rate varies with type and size of coal, furnace drop, and type of stoker or grade. This equation gives the plan area for stoker fired furnace. Knowing the volume, the designer can approximate dimension. This may be modified by circulation needs in the boiler and the placement of access in the furnace to control combustion. In pulverized coal, oil, and gas-fired furnaces, the boiler circulation needs determine the furnace height, and the plan area can be found. The type of boiler may, be modify, may modify the furnace cross-sectional area. Okay. Okay, di ko tinanggal to. Kailang pang ispaan sa space. For example, number three. Design of furnace. A furnace is to be designed for the following conditions. We have steam capacity, maximum, is 120,000 pounds per hour. Overall efficiency is 81%. Steam pressure, 200 PSI. So again, na double lang. Wait, tanggalin natin yung pagkadoble niya. Then, feed water temperature to 110 Fahrenheit. The stoker projected rate surface is 300 square feet. Determine the furnace height. So, ito yung required. Determine the furnace height for a heat liberation not to exceed 40,000 BTU per hour. So, given. So, steam capacity maximum, 120,000 pounds per hour. Overall efficiency 81%, steam pressure 200 PSI, steam temperature 420 Fahrenheit, feed water temperature is 210 Fahrenheit. The maximum nito is 212 Fahrenheit kasi boiling na yun, di ba? So stoker, projected grade surface, 10 square feet, heat liberation up to exceed 40,000 BTU per cubic feet per hour. So ito yung HRB. Yan, required for the set. HRB mo is given as 40,000 BTU per hour cubic feet. Volume, di ba? Volume. Yung A is area. HRB is equal to WF times HSB over B. Uh, then, WF times higher heating value times efficiency. And sub G is the summation of WS times delta H. Okay? Yung fuel to steam. Okay? So, N sub G is 81% or 0.81. So, kunin natin yung H delta H. At 200 PSI, 420 Fahrenheit. So, to S2 is equal to 122.58 BTU per pound. From steam table at 210 pound at feed water, H1 is equal to HF is 178.15 BTU per pound. Then WS is equal to 120,000 pounds per hour, yung flow steam. So, makukuha mo na yung ito. So, WF times HSB times 0.81 is 120,000 times 122.58 minus 178.15. Or 154,730,370 BTU per hour cubic feet. 
So, ito yung WF times HHB. Ito yun. Diba? So, 40,000 is 154 million 730,000 p70 over b. So, the volume is 3,868 cubic feet. So, ito yung volume ng furnace mo. So, b is equal to eh is 3868. Yung area and the x. Stoker projected area. Kasi ibabaw niya kasi yung volume ng furnace. 300 times x is 3868. So, the height is 12.9 feet. So, meron ka ng height. Yung area, bahala ka kung square o ano. Dimensa. So, furnace construction. So, ito yung construction ng furnace mo. Malabo lang sa, li alin sa libro. This is uh, figure 16. Which is one of the ma many types of sectionally supported air-cooled walls. Yung isang water-cooled. Air-cooled yung may gap siya. A smaller boiler used solid reflectory walls. Mga bricks. But they will be air-cooled in larger units. Larger central station type boilers have water-cooled furnaces that absorb up to 60% of the heat transferred. The water walls of modern boilers may contain all their evaporating capacity. Kadasan yung mga wall tubes. So, meron din dumada doon na water tapos naging steam. <coughs> Dabag doon, water walls. So, heat transfer. <coughs> Simple furnace wall have an interior phase of reflectory fire brick. An intermediate layer of insulation with the exterior casing made of sheet metal, parang cladding. Reflectory may be in several forms, brick or cast or built-up monolithic covering. Reflectory material contains about 40% aluminum oxide, 55% silica, and 5% other oxide as impurities. So study of insulation, other topic. Fusion temperature of reflectories vary from 2,700 to 2,700. 2,600 Fahrenheit and limit the maximum fire temperature that may be used. Insulating materials as bricks or fill may be asbestos, 85% magnesia, lock wall, diatomaceous earth, or any mixture of these. Insulating layers reduce heat loss from the furnace but raise refractory temperature. Siyempre na po na Uh, tumataas yung na-concentrate yung temperature mo doon kasi may insulation ka. Okay? Low self-bearing wall need, need no steel support. Mga bababa lang. But higher walls do. Steel ledges or hangers supported on steel column or beams hold wall section. Pagyo 16 shows a sectionally supported wall. The usual way also to build furnaces arches. Arches yung mga ar arco. Yan. Doon kasi dumadaan yung mga oh, sa pugon. Hmm. Ayan. So, water walls have vertical tube connecting lower and upper heaters which connect into the boiler circulation system. So, ayan yung mga design ng water wall tubes. Top view. Furnaces may be totally or partially water-cooled. Figure 17 shows a series of water wall arrangement. Tube spacing starts in pins affects the heat transfer. Wall is lagging condition and furnace temperature. Ayan mga design, closed space tube. Yung madali na siyang dikit na dikit na. Yung flat studded bird cage wall. So may support na, may distance ito. Gusto naman touching tube. Uh, bukod sa closed space to, dagdikita na. Pressure casing construction. So, nakaluhan na siya. Pressure tight. Well, yan. Steel plate or aluminum may be used for boiler casing. Pressurized furnaces have welded casing to make them gas tight. A recent design uses a welded casing in contact with the wall tube and back up with insulation and outer covering. Meron pang mas bago doon. Next, furnace bottoms and refuse removal. Sa kombosyon, di ba, matayong mga as refuse. 
doon yung nalalaglag. So, a, a stalker part furnace has this stalker as the major part of its bottom. A dump plate or aspit occupies the remaining space. Okay. The smaller underpeed units have dump plates to receive the ash from the stalker extension rate. So, this is my conveyor. Doon yung mga kukukita itong mga refuse. Underpeed. So, in normal cooperation, the ash build up to a horizontal level at the stalker rate end. Clean care grinders extending the width of the stalker at the bottom of the aspit controls the depth of the ash. The grinder runs at interval to break up large clincher and pass the ash to a hopper or through below. Water sprays usually cool the ash before it contacts the room. Okay, kasi materials nga. All sizes of gravelling grade stoker naman have ash pit to receive the refuse dropping off the stoker rear. Grinders keep the ash pit level well below the stoker. Next, Pulverized coal furnaces have either wet or dry bottom. Ash from the fire settles down to the dry bottom furnace in granular form. Furnace proportion ensures that the ash will be cooled to a solid before it falls into the hopper bottom. Uh, water screen made up of widely spaced tube prevents the pulp furnace radiation from melting the ash in the dry bottom hopper. Simply decayed. This tube connects into the water walls. The ash falls between this tube and is removed once a day or opener. The, in the wet bottom furnace, the furnace heat keeps the ash falling to and on the bottom in the molten state. The liquid ash drains through a hole to an exterior water cool pit. Wet bottoms finds most acceptance today. So, yun na ba yung collector? Kasi part ito ng steam generating unit. Next, boiler rating and performance. So, para sa board nyo. There is no generally accepted method of rating the large modern right. so, ito lang. Large modern High pressure boilers except by giving the pounds of steam per hour together with steam and water condition for which the unit is designed. So, kung mga turbine yung mga boiler, makita nyo mga specs pressure. Yan ang ano niya. Noon, meron tayong tawag na boiler as power pero at, sa maliliit, ginagamit pa rin yun. A term used for many years and is still used to some extent for a small boiler. Is boiler as power. Originally, this term was intended to relate the output of steam generator to the steam requirement of a prime mover. Kaya nga yung siyang horsepower, di ba? Prime mover. Improvements in the design of both the prime mover and the boilers have made this misnomer obsolete. One boiler horsepower is equivalent to the generation of 34.5 pounds of steam per hour from water at 212 Fahrenheit to a saturated steam also at 212 Fahrenheit. English units definition. From and at 212 Fahrenheit. Okay. The energy evaporation for steam at 200 Fahrenheit was taken at 970.3 BTU per pound, making the product equal to 34.5 times 970.3 or 33,475 BTU per hour. Usually, this figure is approximated at 33,500 BTU per hour. So, yan yung nakikita, uh, ang nakikita nyo is 33,500 sa mga reviewer. So, actual niya is 33,475. So, the boiler as power is equal to W times S2 minus S1 over 33,500. In which, W is the steam generated by the boiler tubes, economizer, and superheater and pounds per hour. Isa lang naman yan. Simba na series naman yung boiler tube economizer. So, isa lang yan. S1 is equal to enthalpy of water entering economizer. S2 is equal to enthalpy of steam leaving boiler or the superheater. So, because power boiler do not generate at steam at 212 Fahrenheit, the actual energy change of the water in passing through the boiler compared with the latent energy of the evaporation at 212 Fahrenheit is the factor of evaporation. Thus, the factor of evaporation is H2 minus H1 over 970.3. And the equivalent evaporation is F times W. Pinaghiwalay lang Boilerous power. So the boilerous power is F times W over 
or the equivalent evaporation divided by 34.5. Then at the time this term were standardized, boiler could de develop one boiler horsepower with 10 square feet of boiler heating surface. Okay, therefore, the manufacturer boiler horsepower is defined as 10 square feet of boiler heating surface charge. And, uh, may question kasi means and manufacturer's boiler horsepower. So ito ang meaning niya. It is common for small modern boilers to generate more than one boiler of power with 10 square feet of heating surface. So most boilers can develop 150% of rating. 200% is common and some units have exceeded 400%. When percentage of boiler rating is defined as boiler rating is boiler of power times 10 divided by the boiler heating surface. Okay? So yan. Note. Water tube boiler develop one boiler of power with 10 square feet of boiler heating surface. Fire tube boilers develop one boiler of power with 12 square feet of heat boiler heating surface. So, so fire tube. Package fire tube boilers develop one boiler of power with 5 square feet of boiler heating surface. So, itong ano yun yung, ah, yung uh, tandaan nyo, memorize nyo. Kasi yung sa isang book, sa review, yung ginagamit nila na conversion is yung metric. So, kung i-convert mo, mali yung pagka-convert ng metric. Ayan yung English units. Yung Kimorsia tayo, mali yung pagka-convert doon. MKS. Ang original na ganang pwede yung Kimorsia na power plant is English units. Okay, sample number 4. Determine the factor of evaporation, equivalent evaporation, boiler dose power, and the boiler rating percentage for the following. Okay, lalagyan ko ng percentage kasi normally percentage yan. Okay, example, yung iba kasi pag compute, walang percentage. So, malihan ko. Sabihin, tama naman, sir. So, mayroon tayo mga standard na percentage na mga variable, boiler rating, efficiency, normally. Percentage yan, okay? <coughs> Steam output in pounds per hour, 8,000. Steam, PSI, pressure is PSI. Absolute is 135. Then moisture, percent is 1. Feed water, temperature is 120 Fahrenheit. Surface, boiler, and water wall, if any, square feet is 1330. So given, so yan, steam output, pressure, moisture, feed water, and surface area. Required A, factor evaporation, B, equivalent evaporation, C, boiler of power, and D, monopolar rating. Okay? Nilagay pa dito, manufacturers. Ano niya? Nagtanong siya, ano po itong manufacturers? Sabi ko, magbasa ka na lang dyan. Okay? Solution, steam quality. Siyempre, given no moisture, that is 1 minus Y, X. 1 minus 0 0.01 is 0 0.09. Diba? Okay? So, ang given mo is percentage. Most, yan yan. Most percentage yan. 1% is. Yan. At 135 PSI A, absolute, steam table, S of FG is 870.4 BTU per pound. S of base equal to 322 BTU per pound. And at 120 Fahrenheit, yung feed water mo, H1 is 87.97 BTU per pound. So, A, factor of evaporation, F is equal to S2 minus S1 over 970.3 is 1183.7 minus 87.7 divided by 970.3 is equal to 1.1293. So, ito yung answer mo. There A. There B. Equivalent evaporation is equal to F times W is equal to 1.1293 times 8,000 is 9,034.4 pounds per hour. C, boiler of power is equal to F times W over 34.5 is 9,034.4 over 34.5 is 261.87. Yung answer nyo. D, boiler rating is the boiler of power times 10 divided by boiler heating surface is 261.87 times 10 divided by 130 is 1.969 or 186.9%. The correct answer is 136.9%. Okay? <coughs> In D, 1.969. So, this is the end of this topic. <coughs> so, uh, ano pala? So, ito yung mga parts. 1. Feed water inlet. 2. Vertical tube bundles. 3. Down camera. 2. 4. Water drum. 5. Furnace. Ito. Ito yung nakahanyan line. 
Then, 6 lateral D spin tube. Ito pa ganun. 7 front and rear wall tube. Ito, yung water wall. 8 internal screen. Okay, 9 separator. 10 steam drum. 11 saturated steam outlet. Saturated steam outlet. Okay, thank you very much.